of time. Okay. Okay. You are? Vicki Dean. And you're going to show us? How to make paper beads. Excellent. Alrighty. You want to start out with a, a, a piece of paper that's cut in a triangle shape. Um, this is about 12 inches long and then it tapers towards the end. And what you want to do is you want to hold the paper in your hand, just slide the paper in the slot and then begin to turn it. You want to hold it a little tight here just for the beginning roll and then you begin to roll. Now as you go along you can adjust to the desired shape of the bead that you want. Or you can make it nice and tight. Pull it tight but then you continue to roll adjust to the size that you want it to be. Make it a little tight and you're going to take your glue in the last two inches or so nice little strip of glue and then you finish your roll. Now any excess glue you continue to roll it around and it'll get in all those little nooks and crannies and then your bead is done. Rip off and let it dry. Wow! Can you do us another one? Sure. Again, you want to have your pattern down away from you. Slide your paper in the slot. Kind of bend it a little. Just give it a little start. And then you're going to begin to roll. Now to keep that uniform that you want, you want to adjust it ever so often. But really it all depends on what kind of desired look you want for the bead. Last two inches. Run a little blue. Remember any excess is good. It'll get in those little nooks and crannies. And then you're done. Slide it off. Let it dry. Okay, can you do one and show in slow motion kind of what you mean when you say hold it tight, you sure. know, or make it loose? Sure. What you want to do is, again, take your paper, slide it in. You want to bend it just so it catches. And then you just kind of hold your finger on there to give it a little pressure. But it's basically just to keep the paper under control. Now you can see that the paper uh, it's going a little off to the side, so you want to bring it back in, pull it a little tight. It's not going to come unraveled. And then you just watch it and make sure it goes, you can see this is getting a little off, so I'm going to readjust, and I'm back in there again. So every so often you want to make sure it's the desired, how you want the bead to look. A little bit of glue, just any excess, again, is great for the bead. Pop it off. Okay. Can you off. talk while you're rolling another one? Sure. Um, can you explain why this tool is better than using a pencil or something like that? Well, because of this has um, because it has the slot in it, and it actually stops the paper from going any further. You put the paper in there. It actually gives you more control, and it lets you give a desired uh, shape of the bead. Like one way, if we continue on this path we can actually make it cone shape. So here we have a cone shape bead. Mm -hmm. And you put a little glue. When you have the pencil, a lot of times, or a lot of people use pencils, toothpicks, things like that, you don't have the control over the bead that you would with this tool. Now you have your cone shape bead. And that would be good at the end of a necklace. Mm -hmm. So a pendant would go in there. All these would go along the top. And then you can do two cone shapes. And then you would have your nice necklace. Okay. Also, if we were going to use the pencil, let's pretend like this is the, um, All right. the pencil itself. Um, as you're trying to hold this in place, in order to get this to bend and to keep it in place, you're not able to get a good wrap. You can see how this comes apart. Right. And if you try to get that in place, it's really, you're struggling with the bead. You don't want the bead to struggle. And then after you get so far down, um, this isn't tight enough. Mm -hmm. And then you have gaps, and you're not going to get the strength out of the bead that you would want. So again, and here a nice clean finish. Nice clean finish, for sure. So here we can straighten this back out. You slide this back into your little slot. You start the little bend and you begin to roll. You don't really have to pay attention. You don't have to fight with your bead. Mm -hmm. You let the bead become what it's going to be. And do you find that older people can use this tool as well as like young children? 
Absolutely, because with this, um, you're not struggling holding the paper still. Okay. Where this way, you're just more guiding the tool itself. It doesn't require so much coordination. No, absolutely not. And we have um, some disabled children that are working with this because they're able to maneuver it better than holding the paper taught to a pencil. Mm -hmm. Just doesn't work as well. So here we can just take this off and slide it. Maybe Excellent. just make it.